Hi, my name is Clary Doyle. I'm a sophomore at Duchenne Academy. And this is my piece, A Message to the White House. Minister Gorbachev, tear down that wall. During the tense Cold War, Ronald Reagan proclaimed this rather than hid, not because he didn't understand the Berlin Wall, but because he did. When I was in sixth grade, the entire middle school was assigned to write a speech over what we believed was the most important landmark. Ironically, I wrote mine about the Berlin Wall. The time I was giving this speech was long after I had seen its fall, but it was never the wall that was attractive to me, but its absence. I knew in sixth grade that if borders were scratches across a landmass, then a wall is a scab. So that even when you pick and pick and pick that scab, you are still left with a scar. Like you can set out fire, but there always remains death black char. Berlin was divided to keep the peace and enforce the laws, but disdain is chaotic and opposite to peace. And isn't it unlawful to fold up families by a crease, mothers and fathers torn apart from sons and daughters? Since when did a campaign promise learn to cut umbilical cords? Here's the thing about walls, they're meant to keep people out, but they trap people inside. And they are scapegoats under which government officials will hide. No act of justice comes from stone barriers. Recall the stone forged into manacles to separate the slaves from the free men, the fence in Auschwitz giving hell boundaries, and today the Korean demilitarized zone has walls that have yet to break. And doesn't hearing about it just make you shake? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but it's policy that will burn me. There are more than just immigrant families that experience this rift. In the United States, there is a political divisive wall that feels impossible to lift. Stained glass is pretty, but on the states it blurs our vision when one state is red and another is blue. I wonder how many walls we have yet to break through. California is literally being torn apart by a giant fault line in the earth, and yet isn't there more fault in the way we act as neighbors in the north? This wall hasn't even gone up in Texas, but it runs straight through my house in Omaha because the walls of my home are too thin to block out the endorsement of my brother and grandma. Blood is thicker than water, but apparently it isn't thicker than stone and I can't help but feel sick just to know that members of my family will donate to a fund that will sever another family just like mine, but with a different language and a bogus crime. You can act like it's justifiable and okay, but you can't turn around and expect me to say one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, so isn't it visible? Our hypocrisy if you put up that wall. Everywhere I go and on every news channel I see, I feel like millions of walls have surrounded me. I have reason to believe we are just fighting another version of the same war. Whether fear or policy or greed, only under human flesh do these seeds breed, and out of a big man's mouth are these demons freed. So maybe I don't see the wall tangibly yet, but it's there in your heart. So in a former president's words, here is my call. Mr. Trump, tear down that wall.